Hi folks, this is Brian, aka B-Funk Phenomenon, teaming up once again with Mariska, aka Kids Roll Power. And this time we are unfolding a riff I refer to as the Bliss Lock. This one is to challenge your balance and keep things groovy at the same time. Now working with someone like Mariska sets me up for some interesting challenges. Not in the least because of her interesting character, but when it comes to roller skating, turns and spins are not exactly her cup of tea. So that triggers me to always come up with alternatives to riffs and routines that include a lot of turns. Now let me first dig into the bliss lock and then take it from there. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the other side. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So let's take a look at it again. I cross and flare, then I step over, then I step back, do a lock and kick to the side, and then I reset. Defining this riff in four counts allows me to get a sense of the flow I want to get into. And it allows me to focus on the little things, such as stepping over correctly and then stepping back again from that position. Stepping back and then getting straight into that lock and kick is challenging your balance at its best. I'm obviously leaving out all the locking hand and arm gestures and primarily focusing on the sequence. But it's interesting to incorporate elements of different styles of moving into the roller skating vocabulary. As you grow more comfortable with the sequence and the techniques involved, the height of the kick can be an additional focus point as well. In this footage, I am not displaying the full turn, but I'll leave that up to you to see if you can figure out how to not step back on count number five, but instead step around and still end up in that lock kick and in time for the next eight counts to the other side. So now let's check out eight counts in full effect. There can be a number of reasons why people might feel discomfort when turning or pivoting. Practice makes perfect, of course, but as we grow older, one of the most common issues is calcification of different structures in the inner ear, because that's where balance is regulated and most information is collected and sent to the brain. This calcification process is intensified due to lifestyles such as smoking, eating habits, consumption of high sugary beverages, including alcohol, and things like that. So a solid healthy skate flow definitely depends on how well you treat yourself off wheels. I personally strongly believe and I always say great skate moves are prepared in the kitchen and finished in excellence on the skate floor. As for Mariska, she's had balance issues throughout her entire life, dating all the way back to her teenage years when she for instance would get car sick on holidays. In recent years, roller skating has helped her to deal with it and find a way to adapt to slight turns and pivots in a way that works for her and making sure she doesn't push it too far to suffer the consequences. But sometimes she gets carried away and needs a time out from whatever it is that she's doing. So for any of you out there, if you are experiencing balance issues, don't give up. But try to find a way and adjust moves, sequences and exercises in a suitable way. There are always alternatives to think of to build a solid flow and not leave the funky parts out. I hope you liked this video. Make sure to check our Instagram accounts for alternative versions of the riffs displayed on this channel and the music we use. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe and catch you on the next one.